hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain how to change the text color and size dynamically using JavaScript and jQuery and here we got the final output first we'll check the, the color I'm choosing the color this time I'm selecting with the brown this is the color I selected click ok when I click text change see this is color change the brown color and font size see here the font size let's change another color this time I'm selecting blue this is the color I have selected let's make it a little dark click ok change the color see the color has been changed and the font size also that's it we have implemented to change the color and size dynamically using javascript and jquery if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates i'm using visual studio code to write the web designing now if you notice in this html page contains a simple doctor of html with header section and body with center tags h1 h2 and horizontal line inside this center tags now before adding the html elements and jquery javascript functionality on this html page first let's check the output on the browser and this is a simple output of that html page which contains right now only the header tags and one horizontal line now first aim is I want to add one paragraph of that I want to change the paragraph color dynamically using the HTML color picker object element so let's have the coding part for that now first let's add the HTML elements first I'm adding the button control input type is equals to button element then I'm adding the value the button control name value is equals to change color is a button control name let's close the button control after that the second HTML element is a color element so input type is equals to the color uh, and I require the ID of this color uh, color pick That's it. Now let's add the horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding a simple paragraph tra tag. This is Charon. That's it. Let's save this file. Save all. Now we'll check the basic output, how it looks on the designing part. I'm reloading the browser. Notice here we got a new output on button control, one color pick control. Below that we got the paragraph. Now my aim is when a user wants to change of this color of this um, this paragraph, so you can choose a color picker. Notice we got the pop-up color windows here. Here we can choose a different colors. For example, I am choosing the blue color. This blue I have selected. Click OK. After that. When a user clicks this button control change color, the color of this paragraph will be changed to this blue color. So I'm using the technology is a JavaScript. So let's write the coding part. In the header section, I'm adding the script tag. Let's close the script. Inside the script, we'll add one function function name is equals to change color now between these curly brackets first uh, we record the iris so in the paragraph I am adding the ID also text change and not the text color change so text color change you can do any ID name document dot get element by id the id i'm getting this one text color change between double quotes i'm adding the id of the text paragraph dot 
adding the style property style dot color is equals to when user picks a color so again document dot get element by id double quotes i'm adding the color element id which is a color pick dot value property that's it now the final step after selecting the color from this color pick then when a user clicks the button control i want to change the text color of this paragraph so let's copy this function name in the button control i'm adding the on click event is change color that's it let's save this file save all now we'll check the output i'm reloading the browser after i reload the browser now i'm selecting and so here i'm selecting the green color so this is a color i want to change this paragraph click ok then when i click the button control notice this is in green color the color has been changed now let's change the color for the the red color I have chosen click ok then click the button control this is channel see here we have changed the the paragraph text color dynamically using javascript now my second condition is i want to change the size of the text color dynamically using the sliders with jquery and javascript both functionality i'm using so when we want to implement the jquery functionality we require the latest jquery cdn so let's open and search for latest jquery cd and google enter and from the search results i'm selecting the first option hosted libraries click that one and notice in the hosted libraries in the libraries section there is a script tag here which is a jquery latest cdn link the version I'm using 3.5.1, copy that one and paste here after the title the CDN link. Now we can use the jQuery functionality in our web page. Let's save this file first, save all. Now let's add the elements, the range element I'm adding, input type type is equals to the element the control i'm adding the range control this range control contains a necessary properties first let's add the id my range maximum value max maximum is 10 and the minimum the starting value is 0 a value is 1 so the minimum value starts with 1 let's close this one after that I want to display the the range values also on the browser so I'm adding one span tag the span ID I required ID is equals to display font size so let's save this file save all we check the output i'm reloading the browser and notice here we got one slider element here now when users change the sliders I want to change this paragraph text dynamically increase or decrease using this slider as well as we have added one span tag will display the font size also so first let's use 
you have to display the uh, font size using JavaScript in this pan tab. So in the same script, I'm adding. Let's declare a variable. The slider, range slider, a range slider is equals to document dot get element by id between double quotes. I am adding the id of the range, which is my range. Semicolon. Let's declare a variable for the span tag. So here, span text is equals to document dot get element by id the id i am adding between double quotes the id of the span is display font size so after declaring the two variables next i am adding the span tag text dot inner html is equals to range slider dot value value property so what are the value i'm selecting from the range i want to display in this span tag variable which is nothing but our span tag then after that let's declare the function range slider dot on input is function is equals to let's declare the function now inside this function, I want to change the dynamic value. So in this pan tag, so copy this one is equals to this dot value. This dot value. That's it. Let's save this file. Save all. We'll check the output. Okay, what I'll do is let's add the font size also font size save this file again save all we check the output i'm reloading the browser so here we got the new output a font size you notice here oops here it's not displaying the font size the value so the reason put this script tag below after the elements let's save this file save all now we'll check the output again i'm reloading the browser see here the value one because here I have chosen the range value one the minimum value is one and maximum value is ten now let's size it see the font size here the text is changing up to maximum size 10. now let's implement the jquery functionality i want to increase or decrease the font size the paragraph size the text size using jquery so again switch back to the coding part In the same script, I'm writing the jQuery snippet. Dollar document dot ready function. Let's close this function here. Now here we are getting the range values from this element type input element. So here again dollar between single quotes i'm adding the input dot on function again the input let's add the function now what are the range sliders the value i'm selecting the font size i want to change this paragraph let's declare a variable text change is equals to 
dollar this dot val function after that the font size I want to apply for the paragraph P so here dollar between single quotes and adding p dot i'm adding the css type sheet css in the css function i'm adding between single quotes adding the, the property name which is a font size font size this is a property comma and that font size I want to apply for this variable text change plus here the most important step is between single quotes I am adding em em is the is a dynamic when we want to change the dynamically the font size on the browser we use this command em if we don't add this concatenate to this text change variable you don't get the results that's it let's save this file save all we'll check the final output I'm reloading the browser and here we got the final output first we'll check the, the color I'm choosing the color this is something something with the brown this is a color high selector click ok when I click text change see this is color change the brown color and font size see here the font size let's change another color this time I am selecting blue this is the color I have selected let's make it a little dark click ok change the color see the color has been changed and the font size also that's it we have implemented to change the color and size dynamically using javascript and jquery